Family spokesperson. This evening, I'll provide further updates and information on the week's events to honor the life and legacy of Muhammad Ali. In order, first I want to talk about the Janaza uh, on Thursday. In order to accommodate a growing size of attendees, the Janaza service on Thursday has been expanded into the north wing of the Kentucky Fair and Exposition Center, with the overflow now into Freedom Hall. Attendees should still enter through Freedom Hall, and they will be directed into the north wing, which will uh, contain the casket and the imam, uh, and the video screens of Freedom Hall then will carry the service. On Friday, the doors of the KFC Yum Center will open at 11.30 a.m. Uh, again, the memorial will take place from 2 to 4. Uh, it's expanded a little bit. I'll talk about that in a second. On Friday, and, and again, the doors open at 11.30. So that's new information as people are planning their time to uh, begin uh, to stand in line. They may want get to get there a little early. There's another uh, issue I want to address, uh, and that is uh, I've had growing media speculation uh, concerning the role of Governor Matt Bevin of the Commonwealth of Kentucky. So Governor Bevin will direct Kentucky's state flag to be flown at half staff on Friday, June 10th, as a mark of respect for Muhammad Ali, a global icon and our Kentucky native son. Um, you know, Governor, when he, he called, said he recognized Muhammad as Kentucky's most notable athlete of all time, but also his great humanitarian efforts as well. In addition, Governor Bevan and Lieutenant Governor Hampton will join dignitaries and fans from around the world as they gather at the Yum Center in Louisville to show respect and to celebrate his life and accomplishments and pay final respects. The governor reached out and wanted to make sure that the focus is on paying respects to the Ali family and to celebrate the life of a global icon in an appropriate way. One note, and um, for those who don't know, and this is just, the, the Commonwealth flag is the only one that will be lowered. The U.S. flag code establishes the protocol for the lowering of U.S. flags. U.S. flags are to be flown at half staff in mourning for designated principal government leaders and upon uh, the presidential or gubernatorial order uh, for uh, an, an, a, of something of nature that the um, president basically would declare or Congress would declare for them to be flown half mast on. On behalf of the Ollie family, I would like to thank Governor Bevin for supplying also the use of the state's facilities uh, that we're using and for his cooperation. There's some program changes. Uh, we have two changes on the programs for Friday's memorial service. Uh, we've added an additional speaker, Rashida Ali Walsh, the daughter of Muhammad Ali, will now be speaking in addition to his daughter Miriam. As you know, um, they will, Lonnie uh, will set the tone for the eulogist. Uh, the two daughters will follow. We've also added Dr. Timothy Giannotti, a Muslim cleric to the program. Uh, he will um, be giving a Muslim prayer. And then we've added, um, just preceding Lonnie Ali, Valerie Jarrett, senior advisor to President Barack Obama, will be attending the memorial service. She will be reading a statement uh, from the president. President Obama, as you know, by now, is not able to attend the memorial service uh, because it is taking place at the same time as his daughter Malia's high school graduation. Lonnie and the president have spoken on the phone, and she certainly has appreciated his kind words and condolences. So just, uh, you know, a couple of points to recap um, on tickets. The tickets are continue to be held out for the Janaza at Freedom Hall. Uh, the box office closes, Joey, today at 5? Yeah, 9 and 5 is just already closed, so you can go back tomorrow and pick tickets up. And the tickets for the memorial service, 
begin tomorrow at 10 a.m. Um, people can, be li can begin lining up at 6 a.m. Based on availability, remaining tickets will be on Thursday, June 9th at 10 a.m. We are distributing 14,000 tickets on a first come, first serve basis. For anyone who is unable to secure tickets, the memorial service will be streamed live on the Jumbotron outside the KFC Yum Center and the Muhammad Ali Center website, www.alicenter.org. Um, with that, I'll take any questions. And with the lights, it's kind of hard to see in this room. So if anybody has questions. Well, no tickets are on sale. All tickets are being given free. I understand. So we're not limiting tickets. We feel that at this point, um, we've made roughly 22,000 in total between the two available. And we think that'll be enough to accomplish um, and, and to, to allow everyone to, uh, to uh, enjoy the service. Anybody else, you may have to shout out your question. Is there designated parking for media in downtown on Friday? If you would give my staff afterwards, they could answer that question because to be quite frank, they kept me out of the details. No, that was a quick, that was a good answer. Okay, that was quick. Thank you, Danielle. All right, anybody else? It, we haven't received the final number, but, uh, but a healthy number of tickets have already been distributed. That's why we went ahead and expanded to the North Wing. Part of the reason being we were able to track uh, through conversations um, people from around the globe that are traveling in. Uh, there will be numerous heads of state attending that service. And if your question is who are they, I'm not going to tell you. So, um, but there will be numerous heads of states traveling to that service. So uh, based on that, based on um, other conversations we've had, we knew that we had to expand. Can you talk a little bit about Okay, let's recap a few of the items that Bob Gunnell has uh, talked about there. The Memorial Friday at the Yum Center. Doors will open at 1130. The service will begin 2 o'clock and will last until 4 o'clock. And two of Muhammad Ali's daughters will now speak at that service along with Lonnie and several other dignitaries already named. Yeah, that's Rashida Ali and Miriam Ali. We're also told that Governor Bevin will direct Commonwealth flags only to be flown at half staff on Friday as a show of respect. The governor will also join the list of dignitaries attending Friday's uh, funeral service. We do now know that uh, there was some speculation on whether or not the president was going to come. We know President Obama is not going to come. Instead, Valerie Jarrett, his senior advisor, uh, will be there to read a statement on his behalf. There are still tickets available for the Janaza. You can pick those up at Freedom Hall tomorrow. And, of course, tomorrow morning, you can be lining, begin lining up at the Young Center at 6 in the morning for tickets to be distributed at 10. So uh, you may need to get there for the 15,000 tickets. It looks like those will go pretty quickly, four tickets per person. Yeah.